Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to create a dynamic DNS entry or DDNS for your ASUS router on your home network. In my video I'm gonna show you first how to create a DDNS entry for your ASUS router and how to give it a free certificate from Let's Encrypt and then we're gonna test this DDNS entry by accessing the administration page of the router remotely from a PC running on the internet. So let me start by showing you how to create a DDNS entry. The first thing you need to do is to go to the administration page of your ASUS router. Here I'm using my ASUS router RTAX58U, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to all ASUS routers that have the DDNS entry functionality. So here, to go to the ASUS router administration page in your web browser, go to router.asus.com and here you need to log in to your router. And to create the DDNS entry, you need to go to WAN. And here under WAN, click on DDNS. And then click on Yes to enable DDNS. And for the server, keep it on ASUS.com. ASUS provides a free DDNS servers that will help you do this. So keep it on ASUS.com. And here for the host name, you need to put a unique name that is under ASUSCOM.com. So choose a name that is representative of what you want. So here I'm gonna choose KST Home. So this is for Knowledge Sharing Tech Home Network. And then under certificate, and this is where I told you I'm gonna show you how to create a free certificate for your router. So under certificate, keep free certificate from Let's Encrypt checked. So this way, when you click on apply, the router will create the DNS entry on the DNS servers of ASUS and then it will create a certificate and it will assign it to this DNS entry all automatically. So now I'm going to click on apply. I'm just going to tell you that if this name is already used by someone else, you'll get a registration unsuccessful message. But if it is not used, the registration will be successful. So let's click on apply and give it a moment. And you see here that it told us that this name was already used. So we need to change the name and choose another name. So here I'm gonna change the name so that it will be a unique name. I'm gonna add 10 simply at the end. And then when you change the name, just click on apply. And you see now that the registration is successful. So let's click on okay. So here for the certificate, you see that it is still authorizing. So you need to give it a bit of time so that the certificate will be created. When it is created, the router will give you a message and it will log you out. So you see here, it is created. And this is a router saying that you need to press on OK here so that the router will log you out. So click on OK. And here I'm going to log back into the router first to verify the DDNS entry that we just created and then to continue the test on this DDNS entry. Let's go to DNS once again. And it will tell you that registration is successful each time you go to DDNS. So let's click on OK. And you see now that the Let's Encrypt certificate is enabled and this is the external name for your home network now. So now to test this, I'm going to enable remote administration on the router and we're going to test this from an external PC. By the way, remote administration is not considered very secure, but here I'm just enabling it so that we can test this DDNS entry from a PC outside our home network. So let's go to administration and here let's click on system and the remote administration is at the end in ASUS routers. So it is here, enable web access from one, click on yes. And you notice here that the router automatically took the DDNS name that we just created and it appended it with the port. So this is the address that we're gonna use so to access the remote administration from an external PC. So I'm gonna click on apply here and give it a moment. So let's switch to our external PC now. So this is the external PC and you notice I have a command prompt and I have a browser. So the command prompt is to show you that if I ping the DDNS entry that we just created, it will return my external IP address. So I'm gonna ping it here for you just to see it. So it is ping and the name it is KST Home 10 and it is dot Asus com double m dot com and you're gonna notice that we're gonna get the ip address 
So this here is my external IP address. Of course, I blurred a part of it. So now let's access the administration page of the router from the web browser that is on the PC on the internet. So to do this in the address bar, you need to put the DDNS entry that we just created and followed by column 8443. So let's put it here, HTTPS column slash slash ksthome10.asus.com.com column 8443 and hit enter and here we are on our Asus router login page from a PC that is on the internet so let me maximize the browser here and let's log in to the router and here we are signed into our Asus router from the external PC last thing I wanted to tell you is that if your router is behind like another router in your home network like for instance the ISP's router or if your router for any reason has a private IP address or a NATed IP address you need to configure port forwarding on the facing router so on the router that faces the internet so that this router will forward the request to the router where you configure the DDNS entry. If you want to see how to configure port forwarding, I have previously made a video about this, so you can look up this video in the description below. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.